How's it, UH fans? I'm Killeen Fukushima. And I'm Cheyenne Sibley. First things first, our new home is all about growth for you and our Rainbow Warriors. In 2021, the facility will hold 9,000 fans, so tickets will be hard to come by. For this season, there will be four commonly known sections. The Clarence T.C. Ching sideline, the Mackay sideline, Diamond Head end zone, and the Eva end zone. While all four sections are still under construction, each will have handicapped seating and no overhead covering. And unlike Aloha Stadium, where the first 10 rows at field level were obstructed to view, as of now, no seat will be obstructed from the action. But since back in December, when the announcement was made that UH would have to move in order to play in front of fans again, there has been quite the chatter on social media where keyboard heroes have been comparing our new home to that of a D3 facility or even a high school football field. Get your comments in now because once you're here, you won't want to miss out. Now we head over to Shai, who has a special guest. Thanks, Kayleen. I'm in the Eva end zone, joined here with linebacker Darius Musso. And the first thing you notice is how close the fans will be to the end zone. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a new future added to the stadium. It's something different, but I feel like it will be beneficial to us on the field. You know, every player, we just need the energy from our, our fans, and, and yeah, it'll give us that extra boost every play. Love that. So you and your teammates have seen the facility up close. Are you excited for the potential and how close the fans will be? I know some outsiders believe the team is disappointed. I like to think of it as the Aloha Stadium is in the past and it's time to make new and great memories here at Clarence T.C. Ching Field. Uh, just looking into the future, hopefully this, bring, this field just brings great fortune upon us. Love that. With the fans being so close, what do you expect for them on game day? What do you want to see? I want our fans of our Aloha State to be loud, be wearing green, and just bring the energy every game. I love that. Thank you so much for joining us, Darius. We're so excited to see what you and your team is going to bring this next season. Kayleen, back to you. With that being said, clearly there's not a bad seat in the house. In case you were wondering about clubs or suites here at the Clarence T.C. Ching Complex, we'll cover those elements in a future episode. But for next week, we'll talk about the upcoming season promotions as well as the atmosphere you can expect here on game day. Wait, what about giveaways and music? Don't worry, we'll cover that next Thursday. Go Mo's!